Let's go back to your suggestion, Dan, about uh, preparing you know, the, the new employees. Where do you start to do that? I think we need to start in terms of rebuilding this economy, first of all, with education. If we're going to be the world leader, as I think we should be in making complicated products, we need a world-class education system. We have to be smarter. Exactly, and significantly smarter. And that has to actually, I'm you know, now working in starting a new high school, Austin Polytechnic Academy on the west side, which, by the way, President-elect Obama said is his model school Modeling. that he wants to replicate ac across the country. Well, tell us what that is. Well, what it is is a public school. It's a, it's a what you call a performance school. It's represented by the Chicago Teachers Union. Uh, and this is a school that is, has math, uh, a four-year pre-engineering program for kids. We have 49 companies that are partners for the school, which are providing internships and summer jobs for these students during their high school career. Uh, and so this is a, a, you know, a, a school that's preparing kids to be the next generation leaders in manufacturing, uh, preparing them for high-skilled production positions, paying sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 a year, but also management and ownership of companies, uh, giving them the technical competence. Is there, anything, the is there anything that you are doing in Chicago, and this is on the west side of Chicago, right not far from where we're doing this broadcast. Right. Is there anything that you're doing in Chicago that, that communities couldn't be doing all over the United States? Nope. What we're doing in Chicago could be replicated in every city across the country. Because what we found in our research is that you have, like in Chicago, we have 6,000, man in Cook County, we have 6,000 manufacturing companies. We now, they face the pressure now of the baby boom retiring, right? 40% of the workforce in these companies are going to retire in the next uh, 10 or 15 years. Every year in Cook County, we have 10,500 jobs that have to be filled with the current supply from our school system with the uh, uh, students with the skills they need to do these jobs. We have 5,000 graduates. So every year, 5,000 graduates, uh, 5,000 jobs, good jobs, paying close to $64,000 a year going unfilled. The same thing exists in Toledo, in Detroit, in New York, and San Francisco. And so, uh, local communities need to adjust to that reality. By the way, we have uh, leaders from the uh, California Teachers Association coming in on Monday. They've studied our model from the NEA, and they, in fact, are real advocates for this approach and want to replicate this school in, uh, in California uh, with the participation of the union, and including both good, good compensation but also good performance. So uh, people who are listening around the country uh, who are maybe involved in school organizations or uh, uh, school groups or mayors of communities, if they want to know more about it, they can go to your website? Uh, absolutely, and we're prepared with, uh, uh, to pro provide assistance at all levels. Uh, we're going to be operating schools. Uh, we're going to be providing professional development for teachers. We're going to be developing curriculum. Uh, yeah, we're moving to a larger scale, and we have to. When Barack Obama <laughs> said that he wanted to make your school a, a, a model, mm -hmm. has there been discussions with the president-elect? or at what point, How do you take that, that huge plum <laughs> that he has given you, and, and you've known Barack Obama for, for a number of years, I mean, how, do you, how do you keep that connection now that he's about to go off to Washington? Well, you know, his staff uh, kept connection with us. When they heard about the efforts to even start the school before it even started, they heard about the design of it. And again, the design is linking students in the Austin community, again, an African-American community that's been devastated, to high-paying jobs in the immediate community by companies who can't find work. So from the very beginning, they were familiar with the design of the school, which provided a very advanced uh, education, but real specific career opportunities and work opportunities for students. So they tracked it along, and they've seen the model. It's uh, linked to developing the community. Uh, in the school, we're using nationally recognized credentials as well as a high school diploma. Manufacturing, uh, that I'm talking about, 90% of all manufacturing companies have less than 100 employees. So right now, you have th those companies, and from my experience, they're doing, first of all, exciting work. Like I said, if they're still here, they're making more interesting products, more complex products, which means their whole workplace has been totally redesigned. They are desperate now to have a public partnership that can provide them with students and entry-level workers that have the actual competencies, not a high school diploma, the actual competencies to do advanced skilled work, including math and science, but also critical thinking, uh, being good team builders, and so on and so forth. So actually, I find in uh, corporate America today, the majority of the companies, maybe not the biggest, are now doing some very creative work, not only in terms of their product development, but also in their relationships uh, with the public sector. There's also jobs making parts for wind turbines, which are high precision machining jobs. Uh, in Illinois and around the country, we now have what we call a, a renewable energy portfolios. In Illinois, it means that we, by 2025, 25% 25 of our energy has to come from renewable sources. This is a multi-billion dollar market. We now have European companies that make wind turbines coming to Chicago as headquarters. Uh, what we, and those kinds of jobs associated with that industry are advanced manufacturing, precision machining, 
And those are the kinds of uh, jobs that we should be going after by building our supply chain. Uh, How does the American worker compare with workers in, in other uh, nations or industrialized nations of the world right now, today? Well, the American workers you know, that are working today are some of the most productive and creative in the world. The problem is there aren't enough of them. Uh, and that's the big problem. I mean, we have uh, workers who are highly skilled in you know, the companies we have throughout the Chicago area. The problem is there simply isn't enough. And, there's, and, uh, and uh, the gap between those that we need to sustain and grow a productive uh, uh, economy is increasing with the baby boom wave. Uh, so that's the public policy issue that you know, we have to, a local community as well as the national, uh, the, new, the, new, the new government has to confront.